So you're back uh, with Andrew. I'm working on statistics problems, uh, those in central tendency. Uh, the last one I'm going to work on today is uh, the harmonic mean. Uh, this is my uh, last assignment in central tendency. Uh, and I have 10 scores in the distribution. Uh, I use a tool called cram101.com, which I found online, which makes solving statistics problems fairly easy because everything is formatted for you and laid out. It's really a lot easier than a spreadsheet. So let's go to CRAM 101. And this is the menu for all the stats uh, labs. Uh, descriptive statistics, distributions, here we are, central tendency, mode, median, mean, geometric mean. The last is harmonic mean, which is what we want. So we'll click on that. And the first thing it's going to ask us is the number of data points in the, in the distribution. And our homework has 10. So we'll select 10. And you can choose random data or fixed data if you if you don't want to use the, the homework problem. But that's, a, that's why we're here. So we're going to use the, the values there. So we'll jump right into adding the values. So there's 50 is the first, then 38, 13, 20, 53, 53, 56, 72, 21, and 48. Okay, uh, let's move down. Okay, so we have the uh, the data now into the in the table. Uh, Cram allows you to have the, the optional plot, and that's one of the reasons I like this tool because it really helps to to plot the distribution out and the and the mean in this case the harmonic mean to kind of to get an idea of what everything uh, looks like. So we're gonna we're gonna do the optional plot. So the first thing you need to do is order the data numerically. Uh, from lowest to highest values. So here we have the table resorted. Then the next step to do would be choose the number of intervals or classes. And, and this is an arbitrary value. It just helps you reduce the amount of information into smaller buckets so it's easier to interpret what's going on. So we're, we're going to take five. Okay. So that says we have an uh, upper limit in the distribution will be 72. The lower limit of this distribution is 13. And then the range is 59, which is 13 from 72. To get to the interval size or width, you take the 59 divided by 5 and then round up. So we have an interval size of 12 or an interval width of 12. So each of the intervals, this is where our five intervals now, each of the intervals have had 0.5 subtracted from them so that every score in the distribution will only fit in one of these intervals. So there's no overlap, and that's very important. Uh, so the next step to do would be to calculate the frequencies. So we're going to take each of these intervals and find the number of scores above that fit into those particular buckets. We'll click frequency, and let's see, they say three. So between 12.5 and 24.5, we go back up to our distribution. 13, 20, 21, that doesn't fit. So we have three scores that fit in interval one. That's the nice thing about sorting the data uh, from lowest to highest is you just have to look in one point. So we have three, one, one, four, one as our frequencies for the various intervals. Now let's calculate the harmonic mean. Harmonic mean, uh, it's an interesting formula. Uh, you take the number in, the number of scores in the distribution and divide that by the reciprocal of each store, each score, excuse me, each score in the di distribution plus the next score. So you take each reciprocal and then you add it to the next score's reciprocal. So you end up with 10 divided by 0.31. So we have a harmonic mean of 32.26. And this is where I like to, to plot this out. So we'll click histogram. And you can get a better idea then of you know, what this value really looks like in our distribution. We've got kind of a peculiar distribution. 32.26 uh, is a harmonic mean. And that falls roughly in this second interval. Uh, that's the harmonic mean. Thank you.